Okay, so I wasn't actually planning on making a video today, but I'm gonna make this video anyways because I was helping out a dude today with building uh, one of my submarines. And you know, I just don't wanna... Well, yeah. I was showing a dude how to build a submarine and you know what, I probably should... If I'm gonna spill the beans for him, I'll show everyone else how to make a really good submarine. So this is currently the smallest submarine that I'm aware of that you can make in this game and it also is the best submarine in this game because not only do you have a mobility of about 30 underwater with a 36 mile an hour on top look at the fire rate of this you see this incredible one of the best fire rates with only one week, well actually two weaknesses. Somebody who can match you in firepower hits you here. Or you get a sword to the underbelly. But I'll go ahead and show how you can make this boat. Just because, you know, might as well. I'd actually like the submarine gameplay in this game to get really good. But we'll go ahead and wait till after this. But as you can see, it holds itself pretty well underwater and it's got a nice rate of fire. This dude, like I was saying, I've helped out a bit with making good submarines. He's currently making one too. But I'll uh, do... Actually, you know what? I'll do a basic submarine so you can understand the principle. Oh, I'm just reading what he's saying, so don't worry about the silence. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to build a basic submarine for you guys to see. So, how do submarines work? Well, the real principle of a submarine is, is that you need to have an angled chair. Now, the easiest submarine to build is you get five ice shield and just place it in this configuration like so. Yeah, take your time my dude. But yeah, so you get your ice shield like that. Now, you want to put a steel beam here, the large one, and then grab yourself a small one and stick it here. And this is your frame. That's all you need, because we're just working on a basic submarine. Next, all you need is just get yourself an ice wedge, turn it out, and stick it on there to where it's in the middle. And as you can see, we got it in the middle. Now we're just going to grab a seat. Any seat matters as long as it's the Mark 1 or uh, Grandma's Wheelhouse. Stick it on there, remove this block, and boom, you've got a submarine. And we will test this design out as soon as um, the next uh, rain comes. But yeah, no, this guy has a lot of potential, which is why I was so excited to show him um, how to make this design. It'll be interesting, because the more boats we have running like this that are as powerful as they are, the more interesting the gameplay will be, because not a lot of people know how to make submarines. But basically, and that's what you're going to see with this design, is... The concepts of a submarine, you put weight on your tail, you put weight in the middle, and then your sides and front should float. And I'll show you why. Because once we get some water here, the trick is, is you just want the water to barely be going over. Like, you see how it's going over right here? Going across like that? 
that's what you want that's what you're looking for in a submarine now as you can see we slope down a little bit so whenever i tap f that will start our descent and if you want to stay underwater for longer you just hit f and just keep pushing it basically and it'll let you stay underwater for longer now let's say if you want to get deeper like spend more time underwater you don't add to this tail this tail is here to pitch your submarine up so watch this whenever we reach the apex of our dive the weight in the back lifts me up into the air along with the float acting as a lever that pendulums us up the floats on the sides here whenever we dive it keeps us from tipping over so that that way we stay um vertical the whole time that's why on this design you can see how big the siding is on there and then if you notice similar in design we've got the red steel on top in the middle and the back just like on this design we've got a beam in the middle and the back so to stay under water longer all we need to do is just add weight to the middle because when you add weight to the middle where it's balanced it means that all the handling will be the same but because you have weight in the middle it will help bring you down and allow you to sit underwater for longer periods of time so if we just keep hitting F here you can see that now we can actually reach the bottom now you might be asking yourself well that's great and all but what could I possibly use this boat for well I'll show you about it's a submarine if we stick a cannon on here we can use our cannon as weight and dive underwater and fire which I'll show you next round but as far as the basic design goes this is really all you need so you have your float in the front and on your sides you put your weight in the middle and the back with the majority of your weight in the middle because by having your weight here it allows your boats your submarines handling to still stay consistently good all the while pulling your boat down so it can sit underwater for longer periods of time that is what you're going for that is what you want it doesn't matter what you use as your weight you just want to um you just want to get creative and use something that will hold it down and this cannon is perfect because the cannon not only is super heavy, but it also floats a little bit, allowing us to pop up. Now, here's the advanced design, which I think is the most advanced uh, submarine design out there. I actually made this myself, and I'll show you guys how to make it right now. So what I'm doing is this is the overall size. You're just going to want to compress it six thick. And you don't want to compress it any more than that. And yes, I'm rushing, I apologize, but my recorder is on a limited time. Two, three, four, five. That's six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Now, how I made mine is real simple, so you're just going to get this ice wedge here. Again, apologies if I'm going fast, I'm just on a time limit here. You take your seat, you want to angle it, like so, X that out. Now we're going to, okay, yeah, that's why I sold off the other boat, so any cannon will work, but you're going to you're gonna want this cannon for this design so you just want to have it a little bit back that's what you're going for that's what you want it to look like now I'm just gonna grab something to sell along the side of it I'm using this small piece of steel here because it's small and it's the same size as the cannon which is what you want so now we're just gonna tilt this and get it fused in and now we're just gonna max it out that's maxed so now that we place our max amount as you can see we're still floating 
We're gonna go ahead and slap some armor on this. I'm using a blue steel shield like this. Just gonna set that in the middle. And you're gonna put it on all four here. Not like that, but like... Let me see if I can't just get that spot just right. Like that. And now, all you need is two things of red steel. And with this, just get one red steel square. And you are done. This is the most powerful boat in the game. Or most powerful submarine in the game. So if we did this correctly, we've got plenty of dive. Now, the only mistake I made is I put the sea a little bit too high, but it won't matter. Now I'm going to show you this in action to show you just how powerful this is. But the reason why I'm showing this is because since not a lot of people know about submarines and I primarily run them, it would be cool to actually have a submarine battle eventually sometime in the future. And the more people know, the better the submarine designs will get. And just the better and more fun this will be. So here we go, we're coming up on someone, and let's light him up. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is look how low to the ground I am. Or look how low to the waterline I am. I'm a very tough target to hit, like this. And that's what you want. See, look, there's a kill already. Let's see if we can't get in our kill. It's also a very squirrely boat as well, which you have to keep in mind. Just gonna back up, because we got somebody coming after us. Also doesn't help that I'm recording. Oh, someone on top of me, dive. Boom, off of my boat. Now I quickly, 360, start firing again, continue business as usual. Keep going, and look at that. We've pretty much obliterated the boat. He's sitting there walking on top, he can't get anything. The only thing he can hope for is that he might be able to stab me right here where I'm sitting. That's it. That's all he's got. That's his only angle. Or maybe get lucky with a cannon fighter right here. Because I'm sitting underneath six things of ice shield, one thing of blue steel, and another thing of red steel. Making me a very tough target. I've also got this nice play of red steel here helping to protect me as well. That's basically um, sub design in a nutshell. There's not a whole lot of videos on it. I know I rushed. I have a 15 minute time limit that I gave myself. I hope it helps. And um, with that, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.